So in a series of uh, previous videos, uh, I talked about um, ways to use regularization to avoid overfitting, uh, right? And so we have a couple of things to play with here, such as the number of epochs, right? If we're monitoring the validation loss, so that's really stopping. We have weight decay and we have the dropout weight. And so all of these are known as hyperparameters. Uh, same with the learning rate. Um, and uh, what you have to notice in these is, is that we find the best values for these hyperparameters by looking at the validation set, right? We train with the training set, but we find the best, we find the, not the optimal number of epochs by looking at the validation set, uh, and the same uh, kind of thing when we're looking at the weight decay and the dropout rate. So in a way, we're also fitting our results you know, by adjusting these parameters. And so our, our validation set is slowly also becoming a bit like a training set. And so that means that we need yet another set for the final test. So uh, to summarize here, so, so we use the training set basically to get the best weights for a given set of hyperparameters, right? And so that's epochs, learning rate, and so forth. Right? So the validation set is then used to determine the best hyperparameters. But finally, when we're, when we're all done and we stop messing around with it, right, then we have to do a final test on yet another data set, and that's called a test set. So uh, when you start with your, your, you have your data set, usually you use 80% of the available data for training, and then 10% for the validation, and then the final 10% for the test set. And you only run those calculations on the test set once. You don't go back and adjust your hyperparameters. This is basically the, the your model is finished and this is the best it can be. Let me show you real quick how to uh, split data up into uh, training, validation, and test sets. Uh, so we're going to use uh, a function from sklearn. That's under the model selection, selection, um, and it's called train test split. And of course, you can use this for anything. You, you don't have to use sklearn. Uh, you, can, you can use this to generate uh, data sets for Keras or, or, or anything else. So as an example, I just want to use the um, data, the MNIST data that we've used before in other videos. For example, this one. Uh, so it's, it's built into Google Colab, so there's no need to uh, get it from anywhere. Okay, and so if I print the shape, we can see we have, oh, I have to, of course, import pandas as well. S P D. Okay, so we can see we have uh, 20,000 data points here. And so let's say we want to do the usual 80-10-10 uh, split. Uh, so uh, train, uh, train test split can only split in, uh, into two pieces. So uh, let's just start by uh, splitting it into training and test. Uh, so, and size is equal to 0.2. So this means that 80% will be in the first, in the training set, and 20% uh, will be in the, uh, in the training set, in the test set, sorry. So uh, let's print out the shapes of these. That should be test size. Okay, yeah, so now you can see that 80% is in the training and 20% uh, and is in the test. Now, to get a validation set, uh, right, we want 10% uh, validation and 10% test, right? So 
we're gonna split the test set like so here. So we're gonna split the test set 50-50. Uh, right, so now we can uh, see here, whoops, uh, yeah, validation and test. So 50% will go into validation, 50% into test. So we can print out validation here. Right, so we now have 80% in the training set, 10% in the validation, and 10% in the test.